Hello, hello friends, Michelle here, and I'm back with another vegan pregnancy update video. And this one is all about surviving pregnancy nausea, specifically first trimester nausea, specifically when it's really, really bad, which is what I experienced. Morning sickness, AKA relentless nausea that can not only hit in the morning, but for me and for so many others, it hits all day, every day, and it's totally relentless for months. So while I don't believe that there's any way to cure your nausea or make it go away completely, uh, there's a lot of tips and tricks that I used that helped me get through uh, the toughest part of this pregnancy so far. The way that I experienced it, it hit really hard and fast about six weeks pregnant. I found out I was pregnant at five weeks and then a week later, I just got hit with pretty much nonstop na nausea morning to night. Um, and it was terrible. Like I couldn't even sit up all the time. I was on the couch all day, every day. Uh, I couldn't barely look at my computer or to try and like answer emails or respond to text messages or do anything normal life cook in the kitchen, open the refrigerator, all of it made me want to hurl. I only actually threw up about three times, but um, that did not stop the nausea. I felt like I was going to throw up all day, every day. So that stunk. But friends, there's a little bit of hope because there are some things that you can do that can make a bit of a difference. I'm going to start with the one that I actually ignored for the longest time. And it's like the most basic advice that you read about. And that's before you get up in the morning, the second you wake up in bed, have saltine crackers by your bed and eat like two or three of them before you get up. And the idea is that it puts something in your stomach and just um, helps you not be so nauseous, nauseous from the very beginning through the end of the day. For me, I'd often get up and be like, oh, I feel okay. And then like five minutes or 30 minutes later, it would hit me and I would just be like, oh God, <laughs> I need to lie down. Um, but later in the trimester, when I started doing this, it helped a little bit. A li a li again, this is just a little bit. The nausea was still there, but it did. It, I did definitely see a difference. The other really common um, piece of advice, which I definitely took to heart in a million different ways, is, do you guys know what this is? Ginger. This is ginger root. And ginger is has long been said to, and shown in studies to, help with nausea, soothing the tummy, all sorts of different things like that. So any guides that you read online, I read a million times, turn to ginger when you're feeling super nauseous. And I don't know how much it helped, but it might have just been the placebo effect, but feeling like I was doing something to try and help, helped a little bit and helped me not feel so helpless. So the first thing I would have is actual fresh ginger that you can just slice off pieces of and put in hot water. So you sort of make your own ginger tea. I really, really enjoy doing that. Um, but you can also get ginger tea bags. So these, these little tea bags already have ginger infused in them. This is a lemon ginger, caffeine free herbal tea. I personally don't do caffeine and if you're pregnant so you shouldn't do too much caffeine anyway. So this is a really great option if you just want quick and easy, stick it in hot water and that also helps you stay hydrated. I had a hard time even drinking a lot of water. I just didn't want to eat. I didn't want to drink none of it. So having tea that I thought was going to help my nausea <laughs> helped me also get more fluids and liquids in, into my body. On that note, whatever you can find that you can get down hydration wise, do it so you can stay as hydrated as possible. That's also another tip that can help reduce nausea. So sometimes I'd turn to La Croix since it was like cold and bubbly and fresh. It was just like a little bit more appetizing to me than just water. So I turned to that and this is unsweetened. There's really it's just only carbonated water, naturally essenced. So um, you're not putting any crap in your body, which is a win. And then one more thing on the ginger front. I have loved these forever. I love, I love gingins. They are a little chewy, kind of like toffee texture, but ginger chews. And um, I mean, they're made with cane sugar, ginger, tapioca. That's it. And uh, they're really sweet, but they're also like spicy and gingery. And it helps like kind of take your brain away from the nausea for a second because it's so spicy. And then you're bringing ginger into your system to hopefully help with the nausea a bit. So these are really great for that. Um, the other thing, when you're nauseous, 
there are, okay, oh yeah, one more thing for prevention. Uh, a lot of people say that taking vitamin B6 helps prevent nausea or helps you overcome <laughs> nausea. Now, it doesn't actually help with throwing up if you're throwing up a lot, but it can help with nausea. So this is a B12 com or B, it's a B complex. So it also has vitamin B12, which you want to be taking anyway, and it has some other good things. Plus, it has 294% of vitamin B6. So this is another thing you can try out and see if it works for you. And this is from Naturalo. And then, okay, so when you're nauseous. <laughs> at least when I was nauseous, I did any smells, like any food smells, any strong smells, soap smells, cleaner smells, all of it made me just want to run out of the house and just die. Like I couldn't handle them. So having some unscented soaps of all types, like cleaner soaps, soaps for your body in the shower, shampoos, anything, anything that you can get the scent out, scent out of. I've never been sensitive to scent in my whole life. I, uh, it's never bothered me, but during this first trimester, I couldn't handle it. So this is the Buddha Organic Suds of Love Soap. Love Soap. It is unscented and um, just made it easier to bathe. Um, and yeah, for cleaning like countertops or anything that I was actually able to to do, which was not much. My husband was like a saint and did pretty much all the cooking and most of the cleaning in the house while I was feeling so, so wretched. But when I did, I would just use water or just very natural things that didn't have scent to them. So that's just something to be aware of um, if you're scent sensitive like I was. Um, one of the things that I loved trying to, when I didn't feel like eating anything or drinking anything, um, the cold factor of popsicles, cold, fresh, light factor of popsicles was really a winner uh, for me in my first trimester. So just fresh, simple fruit popsicles, nothing with cream in it, nothing, nothing like that, but fresh popsicles were good. And then I also ordered a popsicle maker online so that I could make, and this is going to sound really weird, but I was craving it and I had to make it happen as you, as you do when you're pregnant. Um, I made water popsicles. So I just put filtered water in these and little popsicle sticks and I would suck on, basically, I call them icicle popsicles. <laughs> Sounds so silly, but um, they were really a huge comfort and a way to hydrate and also just like have something to take my mind off of the nausea during that period. Um, another thing that I sort of wanted, was craving because I thought it might help me, and it did sometimes, but other times I would not want it, is hard candies to, um, to suck on. So first I thought something like lemony and sour would just like totally help. And so I got, got Jolly Ranchers and I ate. I sucked on a lot of the um, green ones specifically. Like they had like that bite that uh, helped a little bit with the nausea, especially when I was out. I had to film some videos and do some traveling while I was feeling like crud. So I'd always pack these in my purse. So I just had something to, um, help with that and then I thought oh my gosh something super minty would really really help the nausea and I got this huge bag of these lifesavers which sounded like a good idea but I, they were like too synthetic tasting and then like even the smell of them I was like no get them away <laughs> so you can try that but you might try some hard candy to uh, help with the nausea the other thing that I wanted to share is Okay, so I could barely step in the kitchen, let alone open the refrigerator. It just made me want to hurl. I just, I love food so much. I love cooking. I'm actually in the process of writing a cookbook, so I actually had to, for work, uh, be creating recipes, and I just, I couldn't do it. And so I was so, so lucky in that my husband, like, stepped up more than I ever could have imagined or even asked for. Like, he's been, like, such saint and has been... Uh, making us most of our meals or picking up something and bringing it home to eat so that there would be something just ready and when you smell food you start kind of wanting to eat it but um if you're not so lucky <laughs> or if you're on your own or if you just are struggling some nights and um, with a partner who also doesn't have the energy to cook or whatever your situation I highly recommend multiple things a Grubhub or DoorDash or any of those online platforms where you can order have someone pick up food from even like Chipotle or, <laughs> or a restaurant nearby, whatever you're craving, you can have someone pick it up for you and deliver it to your doorstep so that I barely had to leave the couch. 
And as embarrassing and sad as that was when I would have someone pick up Chipotle that's like a half a mile away, it was such a lifesaver. It like got me to eat when otherwise I wouldn't have. So that was really good. Uh, you can also turn to like uh, um, either frozen meals in the grocery store or things that you can order online. So this is a company Bistro. I super love them. They're all plant-based, all vegan, and you can order their frozen meals and then you just either like pop them in the oven or in the microwave and um, super yummy. I really, really like these. So those are helpful too. All right, that's all I have for right now for the first trimester nausea survival guide. I'm sure I've forgotten things. <laughs> Yep, I totally forgot to mention C-bands, which use pressure points in your wrists to help combat nausea. I'll leave them down in the comments on YouTube and I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video if you liked it, and share it with a friend if you know someone it could be helpful to. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.